Hi and welcome to Cash Up New Brunswick's mobile atlas creator tutorial for getting satellite imagery maps onto your Garmin, Oregon, Colorado, or Dakota. So in this little exercise, uh, somewhat informal, I'm going to use the mobile atlas creator which you see here currently to actually zoom in on a particular area that I live in and show you how to get the GPS map to your actual device. All right. So the first thing is, is I've loaded up Mobile Atlas Creator, which I downloaded off the internet. And what I've done is I'm going to right click on the map area here uh, to basically get me a little bit closer to the area that I'm looking at. And I'm going to be zooming in on the New Brunswick area within Canada. So I'm going to zoom up here a little bit. All right. And by right clicking and sliding the map, I'm able to move it anywhere I want to. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit more. I want to try and get as close to the Moncton area as possible. All right. So I'm going to move in a little bit more here. All right. Now I'm actually going to zoom in probably down to about, let's say here, which is a pretty good uh, a pretty good indication. Actually, I'll go one more just for. Uh, just for giggles here. So currently what you're looking at is a map. It shows you the map source over here, which is OpenStreetMap Mapnik. But if I click on the little drop down, you can see that I have a whole slew of different options such as Google Maps, Street Maps, Yahoo Maps, Microsoft Maps, and so forth. So for this exercise, I'm going to use Google Earth, which has satellite imagery. So when I choose Google Earth, you immediately see what the Moncton area looks like from this particular zoom level. So I'm actually going to zoom in a little bit more so I can get some more detail. Move in down to about, we'll say the 16. All right. So here, you can actually see the pretty clear satellite imagery of the uh, Dieppe traffic circle within the province of New, uh, excuse me, not the province of New Brunswick, Moncton. All right, so you've got pretty clear images. So I'm actually going to jack the zoom down a little bit uh, so that I can see a larger area. All right. So <clears throat> when I want to select an area that I'm going to add to my atlas, the first thing that I need to do is actually give it a name. So I'm going to call this Moncton. All right. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this particular area by using my left mouse button and dragging and zooming out a selection such as this. And you can notice that when I reduce the zoom, it keeps the same area. So let's actually select a larger area such as this. Okay, and what you see over here are the zoom levels. So for every level that you want, or for every detail level that you want to have available on your GPS, you need to choose a zoom level. What I have been finding is that uh, zoom levels 14 and 16 seem to be the most uh, useful of the levels available. So I simply select, <coughs> excuse me, those two, and down here I choose Add Selection. And in doing so, it shows me the two zoom levels, the 14 and the 16. All right. Then what I do is under here, under the Atlas settings, I choose the Garmin custom map because I'm going to place this KMZ file and stick it on my GPS and it will serve as an overlay. All right. So once I've chosen my custom map, all right, the next thing I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want to go into settings. All right, and there's actually um, an option within the settings. There's several different options, whether you're, you know, what sources you have, you have the ability to update the tiles that are available on your system, how much they use, and the map size. So you're going to reduce the map size from the large amount that's there to 1024. This will give you much clearer images. You click OK, and now what you do is you hit Create Atlas. When you do that, you'll get this screen here which is basically the uh, the download screen. So it's going to go through and it's going to download all of the various images that it needs off of Google Earth. And we wait for it to finish here. All right. When it's done, it will say it's finished successfully. And we click on Open Atlas Folder. And you see Unnamed Atlas here. And there's Moncton.kmz. And that is the actual overlay file which will be applied to my GPS giving me satellite imagery. All right. Then what I do, I simply right click on this, I choose copy, I go on to my Garmin device that I have, in my case it's an Oregon, I go into the Garmin folder and under custom maps I would simply paste it into here. Now I already have a file loaded uh, that I had generated previously, so I paste the image in here, I close this, I can 
close this and keep it open and regenerate as I want to. Um, but as soon as I unplug my GPS from my computer and turn it back on, that custom map is now available and it's automatically enabled. So as soon as you uh, open up your your GPS and you look at your map, you should now see the satellite overlay. And you should be able to, to enable and dis disable that satellite image the same way you would any other map. I hope this little tutorial has been helpful and good luck with using satellite images and mobile Atlas Creator.